There it is. Another L. <laughs> this one's a 97. Anyway, so uh, this one's going to get the swap. The reason is because it already has a five speed manual transmission. I did, you see the blue hood, the blue grill. This was all from this car. Um, original, everything. Uh, the hood on this one was that faded, crappy green hood. Um, so I just changed it up, changed out the headlights to the crystal. Those are legit JDM rear corners. So I was happy to find those. Um, still has the original bumper on it. Gotta cut the beam to fit this RS one. And then I'm gonna get it painted green to match. I'm gonna keep this green. Uh, fix the fenders, repaint them green. Everything hood is gonna stay carbon. The grill is gonna be green. The JDM grill that I'm gonna put on it. Uh, but pretty much this one doesn't run. So that's why I'm gonna swap it. Cause this one at least runs. Of the GF wagon this one I have to swap it and it's gonna be turbo swapped EJ 205 JDM um, has JDM ECU so I have my AVCS and it's just gonna be awesome I can't wait um, my engine actually comes like I said uh, in two days I'll film that we'll do the maintenance on it pull the dash harness from this one send it to iWire get it merged and then once I get it back you know I'll drop it in everything will go be dropped in put back together and you know I'll have a first turbo swap GC and then whatever I learned from this one you know I'm gonna replicate it on my wagon replicate it on the blue uh, Impressa and I have a lot of parts for this one. I actually have JDM parts, JDM headlights for this car. Um, the JDM rear taillights for this one and the white ones. Um, I do have the side skirt, so I'll do the side skirts, the same thing, carbon. And because this will have more carbon, then it'll make more sense to be carbon side skirts and everything. Uh, but this is just a stock, you know, Impressa sedan from 97, I think. Um, and it's clean. No rust. Uh, clean title, everything. So I'm just happy I got it. It has some Enki wheels on it that I've never had Enki wheels. But anyway, these are the wheels. It's actually tan. Manual trans. Pre facelift. It's awesome. So, anyway, um, those are the updates. It's, I'm just happy. Uh, I don't have to do an auto to manual swap on this one. Uh, that's like what I want to stay away from. But for this one, I'm definitely going to have to do that. Um, but this one at least, it's manual. So I just got to change the motor out, do the eye wire harness merge, put it all back together. And it should start right up. So I'm excited. This one's going to be quicker to swap. Um, then change all the parts, the carbon wing, everything, put it together, and this car should fly <laughs> with the with the power. I think the JDM engine, the way it's gonna sit, I'll probably have around 280 horsepower around there, 270, maybe a little, maybe less than that. Um, but as long as I put high octane on it, which is what I was planning to do with octane booster then I should be able to run it you know stock 
at a at a really good uh, horsepower rating. So, and these are super light, so I'm just excited to see how that's going to feel. So, anyway, that's the update on these. I just love these wagons. Just they got so much space. Um, they feel nice. I mean. I didn't I was never a wagon guy but after just seeing more pictures of these and like different builds that people have done there's one in the UK that man that build was just awesome the way he did his but his was like a full on racing car um and I kind of just started liking these more so I picked it up just because you don't see these anymore either. The wagons driving around. You, I've never, I've never seen. I've seen more of these driving around that impresses, but not the wagon. Like the wagon, I think, is not that popular yet. But I know for sure it will get super popular. There's it. A lot of people still like these cars, and these are just the the passion for them is just growing more. And I know that once I make this look like the JDM version of these, I know a lot of people are going to be like, what is that? Like, that's just, it looks awesome. And once I do the swap, if I do turbo swap or not, I mean, this thing is going to be fast too for a wagon SUV type car. These are light as it is as well. And they have more space. And they have the same looks as the... STI Impressa from Japan, so it's awesome. It has a hood already, so I don't have to get another hood, vented hood. Um, anyway, those are my plans. That's another little update. And I definitely have to move all this stuff around because I gotta make room for that engine and the engine stand. And then to get a hoist and bring the green car in here, move the black car outside or the black wagon so that I could start taking this apart, do the swap all in the garage. So it's exciting. I'm kind of neglecting this one for now, but it only makes sense because this is my daily car. So I'll keep it my daily, drive it, still drive it around has oh I upgraded the audio system so nice audio system AC still works everything while I'm driving this one building that one green once I finish it then I'll see what I'm going to do with the wagon and the blue one so it's awesome thanks for tuning in uh let me know what you guys think do you guys want to see more videos um uh, do you like these videos? Whatever. Anyway, see you guys. Peace out.